A few minutes with nature. Ground fires are spread by wind moving quickly across the top of trees. Running crown fires are even more dangerous because they burn extremely hot, travel rapidly and can change directions quickly. Weather conditions can directly contribute to the occurrence of wildfire through lightning strikes or indirectly by an extended dry spell or drought. Lightning strikes the earth over 100,000 times a day. 10 to 20 percent of these lightning strikes can cause fire. Wildfires can be caused by an accumulation of dead matter like leaf, twigs and trees that can create enough heat in some instances to spontaneously combust and ignite the surrounding area. Man-made combustions from arson, human carelessness or lack of fire safety cause wildfire disasters every year. A large wildfire or conflagration is capable of modifying the local weather conditions. IPCC Report 2021 in short Geneva, August 9 Scientists are observing changes in the Earth's climate in every region and across the whole climate system. According to the latest Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report released, Faster Warming the report provides new estimates of the chance of crossing the global warming level of 1.5 degrees Celsius in the next decades and finds that unless there are immediate, rapid and large-scale reductions in greenhouse gas emission, limiting warming to close to 1.5 degrees Celsius or even 2 degrees Celsius will be beyond reach. The report shows that emissions of greenhouse gases from human activities are responsible for approximately 1.1 degree celsius of warming since 1850 to 1900 and finds that average over the next 20 years global temperature is expected to reach or exceed 1.5 degree celsius of warming this assessment is based on improved observational data sets to assess historical warming as well as progress in scientific understanding of the response of the climate system to the human caused greenhouse gas emissions. Every region facing increasing changes. Many characteristics of climate change directly depend on the level of global warming, but what people experience is often very different to the global average. For example, warming over land is larger than the global average and it is more than twice as high in the Arctic. But it's not just about temperature. Climate change is bringing multiple different changes in different regions, which will all increase with further warming. These include changes to wetness and dryness, to winds, snow and ice, coastal areas and oceans. Climate change is intensifying the water cycle this brings more intense rainfall and associated flooding, as well as more intense drought in many regions. Climate change is affecting rainfall patterns. In high latitudes, precipitation is likely to increase while it is projected to decrease over large parts of the subtropics. Changes to monsoon precipitation are expected, which will vary by region. Coastal areas will see continued sea level rise throughout the 21st century contributing to more frequent and severe coastal flooding in low-lying areas and coastal erosion. Extreme sea level events that previously occurred once in 100 years could happen every year by the end of the century. Further warming will amplify permafrost thawing and the loss of seasonal snow cover melting of glaciers and ice sheets, and loss of summer arctic sea ice. Changes to the ocean include warming, more frequent marine heat waves, ocean acidification and reduced oxygen levels have been clearly linked to human influence. These changes affect both ocean ecosystems and the people that rely on them, and they will continue throughout 
at least the rest of the century. For cities, some aspects of climate change may be amplified, including heat, since urban areas are usually warmer than their surroundings, flooding from heavy precipitation events and sea level rise in coastal areas.